No, oh, God. Okay. Um, I don't know what mine would be. Also, for anybody who sees this in the future, I just woke up from a nap. We're doing a 24 hour stream. There's three and a half hours left still. So don't mind me when I look and sound dead. <laughs> I'm, I'm just still waking up. We're still getting alive. Honestly, yeah. Odin Sphere is a good option, I think. I think it has more recognition now, I would say, because of, you know, getting the remake and stuff. But yeah, Odin Sphere... Oh, God. Odin Sphere is pretty unknown. Um, and it definitely deserves more recognition. It is a really good game, honestly. And I'm excited to play more of the other game from them um grim grimoire i would say same thing for it because it just recently got the remaster treatment as well but yeah um i'm trying to think of like some of the games that we've played especially you know the smaller less known games that we've played or tried or whatever if any of them stood out as actually being like surprisingly good or fun or anything like that Obviously, it's Big Ideas Veggie Tales, Larry Boy and the Bad Apple. That's obviously the hidden gem of the century. <laughs> garbage. Actually, garbage. God, have we ever played a good game on this channel? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, I don't know. I would say, like, all the stuff that we've played that I can think of. I mean, I feel like Onimusha isn't particularly well known, but it must have done decent at least back in the day because it had multiple sequels, right? Um, so like probably not that one. That one's probably not fair to say. Kingdom Hearts definitely no. Like everybody knows Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, <laughs> my God, dude. Yeah, most of the games we play are either, like, trash, or I feel like everybody knows about them already. Turns out there's not that many hidden gen games in the world. Most good games get discovered. Viking Battle for Asgard. I've never heard of that one. Good choice, man. I mean, the game could actually be garbage, for all I know, because, again, <laughs> I've never heard of it. But... I'd say it's a good choice just for that fact that I've never heard of it, though. Yeah, there's, like, nothing on this list that I have that I would actually say is, like, a hidden gem. Not from a quick look, at least. If I spent, like, more time looking, maybe I could find one. But, no, it looks... They're backwards. There we go. Okay. Anyways. Oh, God. Where's OBS? Why did OBS come over here? OBS doesn't go over there. Discord goes over there. Sometimes Windows is fucking stupid. I swear to God. And then Task Manager down in the corner. There we go. Uh, new game. Um, normal. Why not? Jokobo, you are alive. And gem is blood will tell. I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> right. Enjoy sleep, Chocobo. Um, blood will tell. I haven't played it yet, but I know it's it's on the list. Chocobo's mentioned it before. I'm excited to give it a try eventually, but no, I haven't. Uh, I haven't played that one yet either. Game's a little quiet. Can we mid game menu? Audio. There's no just like voice volume. So I guess we'll just turn the FX volume up all the way and then leave music turned down a little bit. Like around there. We'll see how that goes. Jesus, I keep pressing X to try and confirm save, but it doesn't work that way. It's start. Current topside temperature is 
degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't have him the last name Coomer. Okay. Is there... Sorry, I hate pausing like in the middle of the cutscene, but is there subtitles? Did we miss subtitles anywhere? No. No, we did not. Okay. That dude down there gets all the bitches. You know why? Forklift certified, boy, let's go. <laughs> Due to the high processing of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. I know today this seems like nothing, but like early 2000s, this whole like in-game cutscene with the credits and kind of giving you a little bit of lore and stuff and showing off the facility and all that shit. Wild, man. Amazing. There's a reason why Half-Life is so well regarded, so highly regarded, you know? It really did like change the world of, of shooters with its cinematic storytelling. Before that, you just had, like, I'm sure there were some small games that had storytelling and stuff, but for the most part, you had, like, Quake and Doom and stuff like that. Basically, arena shooters. Try not to talk over it too much because like no subtitles, but there's really nothing that important I don't think that's said right now anyways. Rue just realized you've never seen anything of Half-Life. I've played a little bit of Half-Life and a little bit of Black Mesa, which is like a fan remake of Half-Life, but I've never beaten the game before. But it's just a story-based shooter, right? Which these days... No big deal, I guess, but again, for the time, huge. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous and I'm sure there's like some jank to it, but from what I remember of playing it, still holds up relatively well. 
again, some jank, of course. It's an older game, but still, like... Imagine you get a PhD in theoretical physics from MIT just to <laughs> be a research associate. Oof. Too real, man. Too real. I can move! L1 is jump. Okay. Out to crouch. Hello. You're running late. Don't tell me what I'm doing. These textures, though. Look at the quality of that. I totally know what that says. <laughs> I'm sure it was better on PC. They probably had to, like, condense it, compress it down a lot for PS2. Especially since it's on a PS2 CD. Not even a DVD, man. I know the textures still aren't, like, amazing, unless you're playing the remake or whatever. But I imagine you could probably at least read what that said back there on PC. And honestly, for, like, a early 2000s PS2 game, it still looks pretty good, in my opinion. It looks a lot better than, like, no hate here, but la yesterday, last night, whatever, we played Giant Citizens Kabuto. Like, was a good game. But this looks so much better. As far as looks go, is much better. Hello. Hey, Mr. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you get a God, What are that? you doing? Come on, Gordon. You trying to get me into trouble? <laughs> My bad. I saw something I could press. I saw a button. I just wanted to press the button. Hello. Nope. Okay. My bad, dude. Nobody wants me to press any of the buttons. Everybody's mad at me for pressing buttons. I just want to press buttons. Why can't I button? Fine, whatever, we're leaving. Nobody appreciates us here. Of course not. Can we press more buttons? Good morning. Do you have buttons I can press? The sample was just delivered to the test chamber. Nothing. No buttons for me. This is a button hating game, anti button game. It's very sad. I don't appreciate the lack of buttons. Can we get a drink? Hell yeah. Oh wait, do we actually get a pick what comes out? Hello. Okay, it's a green thing. That says ha. I hope those containment parameters are still nominal. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Uh must be out. What about this one? We clicked a blue one? No, it's still just a green thing that says ha. Huh. Okay. <laughs> now, where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? No luck. Did it actually go into like our inventory or anything? Do we have an inventory? I don't know. I thought there was. It might not be like available to us yet though. Ah, hello, Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. I don't trust you. I don't know what you did, my guy. But I don't trust you. You seem awfully sus to me. Oh, there's a health thing. I was wondering what was but Hit the microwave a bunch? If we find it, I will. Gotta make sure my hands are dry. <laughs> All the interactables are fun. Just the fact that there are a bunch of interactables. Can we grab a suit? No, not yet. We gotta do the intro first before we get the suit, I guess. Oh wait, maybe we just have to unlock the suit. There we go, let's go, dude. Give me the suit. Did we find, like, the break room yet? Ah, here! 
<laughs> Your lunch. I'm so sorry, man. Again, I have a problem. I see buttons. I have to hit buttons. I don't have a choice. It's literally impossible for me to stop. I'm so sorry. The music, though. Got some like bass pound and EDM here, man. Right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel. Today. Oh, it's ended. We're in the barrel. Security clearance level three. I could have let myself in. I have that security clearance. I'm level three. Fuck me, security force. Watching your back. The hydroelectric dam. Uh, for anybody who's played Portal, same universe, they do talk about... Please call observation tank one. They do talk about Black Mesa and shit in Portal. It was uh, Aperture's, like, mortal enemy of a company. Can we go down the ladder? Do we have to go down the ladder? Is this thing broken? Screw it, we're going down the ladder. Greetings. Hello. Greetings to you too, sir. Any more buttons? Will you let me in? No? I can let myself in though, right? Yeah, yeah. I want to smack things. The game won't let me hit anything. Oh, we got a flashlight. Hell yeah. Real-time lighting? Is it triangle? It's triangle. See, this is like the biggest problem with Half-Life on the PS2 as far as I'm aware. Like, they got the game working surprisingly well, all things considered. But, the loading screens, because of how, like, low memory the PS2 has compared to PCs. Okay. Oh, we gotta, like, put our face up to it? Wait. Any ideas on the origin of that new sample? Access denied. I'm not allowed in. Oh, do we have to wait for this guy? There we go. We gotta wait on the dude. It's about to go critical. Don't let it do that. Is it because Is it because I hit the elevator button too many times? I'm sorry. Did I use too much power with the elevator? It's fine. I'll just go over here. You guys got this, right? You'll figure out all these power problems or whatever. Um, goodbye. Oh, that was a very short elevator ride. I'm sure that they got this anyways. We don't need to worry about anything. It's it's perfectly fine. They don't need us. They're They're all like super smart scientist people too you know they got phds and shit they got it all figured out no worries guys everything's perfectly normal a bit from standard analysis procedures today gordon yes but with good reason this is a rare opportunity for us this is the purest sample we've seen yet and potentially the most unstable no, no, that dude looks like standard insertion procedures everything nicholas cage know <laughs> how you can say that although i will just a little bit just a little bit cascade scenario is extremely un gordon doesn't need to hear all this he's a highly trained professional we have assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong ah uh, yes you're right Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. 
Thank you for the pep talk, boys. I wasn't paying attention. So <laughs> I was looking at Nicolas Cage and uh, messing with my monitor. So <laughs> Where's the thingy? Has it been dropped in yet? You always thought Kevin Spacey a little bit? It's like if Nicolas Cage and Kevin Spacey had a baby together. How does jumping work again? Where? How? Is it this button? Can we like jump up there? No. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll walk around. We'll do it the way we're supposed to do it. Not here. Okay, is it up here? Look, I haven't played Half-Life that much. And what I have played has been a long time. A long, long time. <laughs> it's been a while. We're just going to chill here on the stairs. This will be fun. Are stairs? They're just very steep stairs. It's fine. <laughs> They're basically stairs. Oof. Let's go. Give it the zap, boys. Give me the yeet, boys, and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Just very, very steep stairs. We just like hit the button again, fuck everything up. No, it won't let me. <laughs> It's blacked out, or not blacked out, but it's blocked. Oh, did it come in? Oh, I didn't see it come in. My bad. I can't get any farther away than this. <laughs> Hit the button. <laughs> Cancel. Abort. <laughs> Run away. Green spark, bad spark. Ah! Totally unexpected. Didn't know this was gonna happen. Oh god. Everything's fucked. We're dead. That was the game, boys. I hope everybody enjoyed. That was Half-Life. <laughs> Okay. Oh god. Oh, well, hi, friends. How are you guys? You're cute. Oh, goodbye, friend. Oh, now it's... Oh. Hi. You guys are less cute. You guys are kind of creepy looking. <laughs> I think some shit might be going down right now, man. I don't know. This, uh... This doesn't seem good. This seems bad. Oh, it's fine. We're back. Everything's fine. There's just a little bit of static. That's all. Bro, I cannot jump for shit. There we go. Um, are you okay, friend? Does the security checkpoint work? 
Oh, access denied. We don't have security clearance. Mm, mm. <laughs> me too, computer. Me too. Oh. There we go. I was honestly kind of worried. I was waiting for it to crush us, man. I'm... That was rude, game. Why are you trying to murder me, bro? Where's the guy with the soup? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that, that's what I'm most worried about. I want to see the guy with the soup. Is he still here? Is he just enjoying his soup? I would just be sitting in that break room eating my soup. I am. I'm afraid to move him and all our phones are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Well then let's freaking go, dude. Get your ass moving. Do you follow me? Oh. Um. You guys look friendly. I'm sure... I'm sure these things aren't famous for being a pain in the ass or anything. So are you gonna like... Yeah, yeah. I don't suppose you reconsider. Reconsider what? I'll, I'll gladly come do the thing. Come activate the retinal scanner. Well, the dimensional breach is definitely transmitting organic matter. Come on. Come activate the retinal scanner, you bitch. I don't have security clearance. All of this, you know. All of it. It's fine. You won't even know I'm here. There we go. It's about damn time, boy. I think maybe we need to, like, click on him. And I probably clicked on him, like, two or three times like a dumbass. <laughs> Being impatient. That was probably my bad. Okay. That wasn't very nice. Jesus Christ. Bro, we're gonna die before we even get out of this room. Holy shit. That's a big ass zap. Big, big zap. I don't have a weapon. I don't have a weapon. I don't. <laughs> Help. Stay away. My face is fine. My face doesn't need hugged. I don't... I don't need... Ah, if we just go back and forth through the loading zone a million times, the loading zone will save us. There we go. Dodged him. Get fucked. Where's... Where's a weapon at? There's gotta be a weapon around here somewhere, right? One of these security people? Thank you for the one bit! There's just laser shooting over Crowbar, let's go. Okay, how do we attack? R1. Um. Aha! Break the glass, man, when all else fails. <laughs> I shouldn't have used the elevator. I'm sorry, dudes. <laughs> I didn't. I just. I didn't think. I just hit the button instinctively. <laughs> Did you guys drop anything at least? You got any stuff for me? Ew. Wait. Did I just pick up body parts? What did I just pick up? Oh, it was armor bits. Okay. They look like... I, I don't know, man. It looked like a skull or something and then something else. That was pretty... Um, pretty graphic. Pretty iffy. I don't know. <laughs> Am I just covering myself in the skulls of my friends for armor? Die? Get fucked. 
Ew. I don't know. That looks like a face hugger on his on his face. I think he just got hugged really, really well. Okay, good. You secure this area. You got this. I believe in you. That's just that's what happens when you know you get over hugged. You grow tentacles. Ow, 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 we're gonna die. Is there a health pack around here anywhere? That's a security terminal. Oh my god, we're actually dead. <laughs> oh, your friends can shoot you by the way? I noticed, we got shot by the, by the dude. Um, checkpoints? Wait, where are we? We don't have our armor yet. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> no checkpoints. Oh, I mean, I guess there was a checkpoint at the very beginning of the freaking game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Actual garbage. It's okay. We can we can get through that quickly. All the stuff that we we just did. Hey, Mr. Freeman. We don't need to like stop and talk to everybody and do all that stuff. We just have to watch the one cutscene again. That's all. It won't take long. Was the rice good? The rice was good. Thank you. I still have a little bit left though. I didn't finish all of it. My God, what are you doing? I'm just here to be a menace. Don't mind me. I just. <laughs> I know I said we would hurry to get back to where we were, but that was vital. That was important. That was a requirement for what's going to happen. Fuck you and your soup. <laughs> oh, there's the health pack. Okay. Good to know. That's what we want to... We're going to want to find that. We're going to need that whenever we come back through. And this time, let's maybe drop a quick save. Oh man, we were right here too. This is where we died. So we were so close to the freaking... To the, uh, to the health pack. And then we died. I might have to take a quick break to go pee though. I just realized, like, I woke up and we never went and peed. Or did anything. We just kind of woke up and hopped right on the computer, so... My, we might need to go take a short break in a minute. Um. To top side. Checkpoint. Screw you and your ladder. There's nothing down here until the elevator falls, though, right? Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Don't want a tea latte then? I mean, if you're making one, I'll take it. But, like, it's up to you. Because I'll probably die if I get one right now. Wait. Oh, we went the wrong way. It's fine. We'll live. We just can't take any hits. The is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's samples. I gather they went to some length to get it. Can you just open the door? They're waiting for you, Gordon. Cool, then come open the door. Come here. Come here. Open the door, damn you. Thank you. Those containment parameters are still nominal. They're not. They're definitely not nominal. They're phenomenal. Ha! A uh, regular mug's fine. Don't need a travel mug. <sighs> hold the door? Don't hold the door. Let the door close. Keep the aliens inside. I mean, definitely not aliens. Keep the overhugged scientists <laughs> inside.
All right, Kevin Spacey. You know what? Looking at him again, he does look more Kevin Spacey than Nicolas Cage. But I feel like there's a little bit of Nicolas Cage in there. He's like 17% Nicolas Cage. 83% Kevin Spacey. 100% creep. <laughs> I'm blaming this entire incident on that dude in particular, on the right. Not Einstein. Einstein's fine. But Kevin Spacey, Nick Cage, it's definitely him. He did this shit. He caused the destruction of the world. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Speedrun strats, boys. Not really. I've I've seen speedruns of this game. It's much too complicated for me. Uh, <laughs> no, like I've never seen like the PS2 version, but I've seen the PC version of the speedrun and they have like scripts for like fancy jumps where they get like infinite strafe speed and shit like it's it's insane man it's wild the things they can do if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80 percent and hold it there until the carrier arrives what are the chances the game just gives us like a free heal whenever this happens I highly doubt it, but that would be nice. Watch me take like one point of damage from the explosion or something, and we're just dead no matter what we do now. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. Try not to like jump to our death again. When does, uh, I don't remember, I don't remember what he's called now. When does the dude first appear? The creep that just stands around and watches us? Did I? It, he, during the train sequence, right? Like during the opening credits? Oh, he's in one of the offices. I didn't know about the offices. But I do remember seeing... I feel like I remember seeing at least a video of him in the, like, opening train sequence. Bum, bum, bum. It's dark in here. I can't see. Help. Oh. Oh, hello again, friends. You guys are cute. What are you? You're like a jellyfish. Can we catch you? Oh. Hi. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. I want to know what that room is. The other one's obviously like Alien Planet, but what's this just black room that we get dropped in that just has like four of those dudes chilling there for some reason? All right, quick save. There we go. We did not get a free heal, sadly. Does anybody have, like, a health pack on them anywhere? Probably not. Wait, there was the one on the floor right here. Does it work for us, or does it... Is that a no? It did. We got, we got 15 health. Hell yeah. We're so freaking good now. We have nothing to worry about. Just have to like I almost said annoy. We just have to ignore the enemies until we get to the health pack. Why 
Let's go. You're alive. I am alive. Let's go. This way. I'm barely alive. Come open the door. This dude's fine. He's just tired. He's old. Let's go. I know. We're in like a temporal loop. I've done this before. Let's go open the thingy. Can you give me something for the pain? Okay, come treat it. Broski. You're not doing a very good job. I am a doctor. There we go. Holy hell. That's actually pretty handy. Thank you for that. Can you can you do it again by any chance? Glad you oblige a fellow scientist. Nah, I guess he only helps us like if we're in the red. Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -bum, bum. What's he called again? I can't remember what he's called. The dude that just like creepily watches us. Let me out. Let me out. I don't want to get zapped. Holy shit. Thank God for that, that stim pack the dude injected us with. Man, we'd be dead right now. Stay down. Grab the thingy. Hit the thingy. Go through the thingy. We got this. Is it gonna fall either way? Okay, it falls either way. Let's not fall ourselves now, though. Oh, there was like an armor pack. We didn't pick up the remains of our friends. It's fine. We left all the remains here. <laughs> the remains stay in the junk pile. Perfect. G-Man, thank you, man. Yeah, my memory's like really bad. How do we hit again? Okay. okay. Just run around them. Because otherwise, we're just going to die. We have like one, maybe two hits. If we can just get to the health thing in the bathroom, we should be good. Okay, come like over to the side over here. Come here. If you talk to that guy, he will follow. That's actually pretty handy. Soup guy? Oh, I think soup guy's dead. Give me drinks. There we go. Just refills our entire health this way. Now nah, I think you can only use each button once, right? Bathroom though. Where's the... There it is. Latte's all done. Okay, thank you. I'm coming. Let's get health and a save. And then... Wait, is that it? Oh, no. It's not a full heal? We gotta wash our hands out. Oh, we can't wash and dry our hands? That's rude. I was really hoping for a full, full heal. But, I mean, we're at 62 now. That's decent. Anyway, I'm going to go grab my tea latte, I guess, and pee. The big thing is pee. I really, I really need, I really need to do that. So, BRP. Your orcs. Ow! Damn it, dude. What the hell? Ow! Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Neothalid? Oh, Neo Neo yeah. yeah. Okay, I have Mass Cure and Bark Skin. I mean, I guess Mass Cure would help. Okay, my Corman's gonna die. Forkin strikes. Damn it. 
Oh wait, is Esther back? Esther's back. Okay. Medic. Yes. Yes. I just need Corwin to stop dying. Yeah. And then Jahira. If you're not busy, maybe summon some insects on somebody. Why was McKin red? Mm, oh, McKin's, McKin's whatever now. Crazy. If we can get rid of the swords, I think we might be okay. He hasn't done that much damage to us. The big dude actually doesn't seem all that bad. It's these magical swords that are beating us right now. Oh my god, dude. Can we get some haste, boy? Yes. Um, uh, he's also... He's panicked. Just dead. Oh, good. He's dead. Okay. <laughs> Homie, he's struggling in his last moments. Time to end you. Uh, <laughs> it's like <laughs> magical sword. It's impossible to hit something. Bro. <laughs> you only oh, have. Right you only have one person trying to hit, and he's invisible. Like, yeah, he's hard to what? hit. All right, I think we need to reload. Because everybody's about to die. Yeah. A couple people are fucked up. Um, I mean, there's always the fireball and pray. Jeez. Easy enough. What are we gonna fireball at that point, though? I mean, presumably the magic swords are just like in there. Like, I don't think they're. Oh, he summons them. Does he? Well, at least get your ass over here so I'm not we fighting alone. I can't until you get your ass over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we can go ahead and, like, do a couple little things real quick, Perhaps too. You like, you know, you armor of faith. Um, ba -ba -ba, raise the strength. Maybe get a woodland being from the get-go. Okay. You got any more stuff you want to cast? Yeah, one more. Oh, enemy sighted. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's spawning right there. What the? Oh, it's a. No, the nymph what? just got. The nymph that I oh. summoned instantly got Hello. whatever the debuff was. Yeah. Hello, hello. There's one of the magical swords. Ugh. Okay. Uh, hold on. I'm we back, boys. Guess yes. It's fine. Too bad. Oh, shit. Okay. Trying to. Figure out where stuff go. How does how do things work? How does anything work? How does life work? Help. There we go. <laughs> Four by three game view. We back. Oh. I have one of my coasters. I need to bring one of my coasters in here. Anyways. I forgot to pause the recording. Well, whatever. Looks like the VOD's getting the break screen, too. Uh, <laughs> whatever. It's fine. We back, boys. Is there any more health packs or anything around here that can help us out? We might be able to get one or two more health from the... From the, um... From the vending machine, but... But I don't think we need to, like... I don't think we need health that bad. It should be fine. 62 is like a reasonable amount. And we have a little bit of armor. Oh, you guys are still alive, huh? I didn't think they were gonna... <laughs> I thought they would just kind of like... Not necessarily despawn, you know? 
But I thought they would kind of just like stay back there. Forget about us. But they did not. They still following. Freaking face huggers, man. Holy shit, we're dead. <laughs> Thank goodness we just saved. Oh my god. I didn't, I didn't expect to get freaking stomped by a... What was that? A server rack, I guess? Something like that? Holy hell, dude. That was kind of rude. I like chicken patties. We have just enough bread and it's the last day for it. Um, sure. Why not? I'll eat a couple chicken patties if you want to make chicken patties. Bro, I almost did the same thing again. I almost walked right under it again. You're still alive? Bruh, I can't help. I can't. I, I suck with a joystick, man, with a controller. I'm not great, period, but with a controller, I just, I cannot FPS, man. Okay, so there's, oh, there's a first aid kit in here. Let's go, man. Our first aid thing. First aid robot. Be like a half hour or so. Okay, I mean, you can bring it up if you want, or I can just come get it in a half hour or so. Don't matter to me. Is it? Do we have to hit the button on the desk? I got yelled at last time I hit the button. Do we hit this button? How do we get out? Oh, hi. Are you dead? You're dead. Will the door open now? Um. Is it because I didn't murder everybody? Why can't we leave? There. Oh, wait, there was one more dude, but he was, like, way back there. Surely it's fine. Do we have to smash it? No, it did say something about... Oh! There was a keypad there we had to smash. That makes sense. Okay. Sucks to be you. <laughs> what did we pick up? We picked up something. Or we're, we're not like jumping over to that, right? Bro. Do not trust. Quick save first. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't think so. I didn't think that was the answer to be clear I did not think at all that that was the answer. <clears throat> I Just didn't know. I don't know what else to do. I don't remember I haven't played very far into this game to begin with and it's been a long time But like I thought we hopped back on the train. Do I need to go for the wire? I feel like the answer's probably no. Bro, I didn't even jump that time. <laughs> I just ran off to my death. Why did I not jump? Jesus Christ, okay. It's not the answer, it's just not the answer. It can't be. If it's the answer, I eat my shorts. I don't have shorts, so it's easy to make that, or to say that. 
Is there, did we, is there somewhere else we miss? Is there like another vent over here we can go through or something? But why'd we go through all the trouble of getting this door open? If we're not going that way. Did we miss something somewhere? Help. Okay, no, we just hit the the power line thingy. We can't hold it. What do? Go to admin, okay. Uh, research, development, personal facilities? We can't go in here, right? Yeah, this is blocked. So that's research. So this is development. This is personal facilities. I'm pretty sure we've already done all of this. Oh wait, was there a vent? Am I blind as fuck? Oh, in there? Yeah, we did that already. But I must have missed something? Is there like a button or something? Is there another- Oh, there's a vent up here! I didn't see it! Okay. That was hidden. Good job, game. Oh. Can I hit you, please? I heard breaking glass. I'm scared. Okay, you know what? That face hugger gets to live. Did they, like, tie you to the chair? Or are you just, like, super freaking lazy and didn't want to get up? I don't see any rope or anything. I think this dude was just chilling. I think we just murdered that... That alien for nothing, man. Egg. Egg. Coolant Reservoir Facility. Noise. Do you have a gun? There we go, dudes. And a health thingy! Let's go. Game is too kind to us. I love how quick the game saves. That's really nice. For the quick save, that is. Does anything bad happen if we hit this button? I don't know why, like... I just imagine this, like, blowing up. Nope, it just opens the door. Okay. Did we get smooshed? <laughs> okay. Aliens are just teleporting in now. That's good. Hi, G-Man. Goodbye, G-Man. Oh, you have like a weird sound attack thingy. Fancy. You guys are cute. I honestly don't even want to kill you, but you were killing me. Look at them with like the little blue stripes on their back and whatnot. They nifty. They put in first aid everywhere. I'm into it. Let's go, game. Give me all the free first aid. Not you. You're not cute. You're a little bastard. Face huggers can die. 
The weird sound wave bros, though, they're all right. We can keep them around. The other face hugger fall down the hole. <laughs> Little idiot. Hello. I'm surprised you're alive. How did they not find you? Like right there around the corner. Whatever. Let's follow the G man. Did you say I'm going to have to leave you here? No, come with me. <laughs> Can we not run too far ahead? Okay, he's running now. Oh god, I can't shoot. Are headshots a thing? I don't know if headshots are a thing. Ooh, extra ammo though. And a gun, I guess, if we hadn't already found the gun. Grenades, let's go. Switch back to this. We'll take the health. Throw a quick save. Because why not? And now... Okay, I don't see anywhere else to go. I don't think I'm missing a vent this time. So I think this was just like handy stuff for us to pick up this way. Nothing else in here. Nope. Okay. Oh God hit him. Jesus Christ, dude. Gonna die to a face hugger because we're idiots. Um. Hi. You're a big dude. Um. Ow. Oh, and there's a face hugger. Oh my god, we're gonna die. We're actually gonna die. Why will you not die? Okay, I'm gonna end up killing myself if I do that. Holy shit, dude. Health. Give me health. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. We are not equipped for this. I mean, we kind of are equipped for this, but I, I can't handle it. It's a... Uh, uh, why do we not have more first aid stations? Can I, like, kill you through here? I might be able to shoot you. More ammo. I guess we have a bunch of ammo. If we kill you now, do we not have to kill you later? Also, is it possible to like, do we have aim down sights or anything? Why, well, I, I know that's where we go, but. I'm just seeing like what options we have for stuff. Reload. No, there doesn't seem to be any way to aim down sights, which... Fair. Uh, I was just... Oh my god, there's a face hugger down here. I was just hoping there was a way to, like, headshot or something to save a little bit of ammo. At least on, like, stationary targets like that. And anybody who's moving around, I'm pretty sure I'm just fucked. Like, <laughs> I don't... I, I struggle enough to, to even hit them. And that's with all the auto-aim that the game applies. Oh. Oh. Do we have limited breath? Oh god, can we drain? Drain? Please drain? It's fine. We just saved. Not that long ago, just a minute ago. Yeah, here. But like, holy shit, dude. Okay. 
So note to self, maybe find exit before we go and hit the button. Is it possible to shoot a face hugger to death? It is, okay. It's just that one face hugger, I guess. Who said my goodness? Was it you? Sir, you're supposed to be dead. Are you faking? I think that dude's faking. I don't think he's actually dead. Ah, right there. Okay. Get off the wall. Is there anywhere else, though? So we just need to go, like, right there. This is... Is that where we came down at? That's where we came down at. Okay. There's not much here. We should be good this time. So we're just going right, and then it's right there. Let's go. Look at me. Oh, that's the guy that we killed from over there. Okay. So we, we did save ourselves a little bit of trouble by killing him the first time. Outside of, you know, the fact that we then suffocated to death and had to kill him again anyways, but... Do you have anything? More ammo? That's a lot of ammo, hell yeah. Hmm. We have to, like, hit the lever first. Pull the lever, Kronk! Pretty sure that was the right lever. Can we walk up this thing? No. But I'm pretty sure we can fall down this thing. So, <laughs> be careful, maybe. That was a face hugger. Oh, that's... That's a... Why is it raining face huggers? Literally. Did they despawn? Or maybe they like... Is that water down there? Gross water or something? Maybe they drowned. It was literally just raining face huggers on us. That was rude, man. <laughs> not cool game. I'm not a fan. I don't want face huggers on my face. Or raining down onto me from the gods. Is that another health pack over there? I might need it, because I don't know. Okay, no. We're good. We didn't take damage. Um, are you gonna like come down here at all? I guess we can just make you come down. I really do feel kind of bad killing those dudes. I like those dudes. Before I break all these, can we use these for anything? Nah, it doesn't look like it. I don't see anywhere we can like climb up using one or anything. We don't need any more health. But good to know there's another health pack back there if we do need it. What happens if we push them into the water? Oh, we can't push them over there, period. Oh, wait! <laughs> Remember when I said that some stuff in this game's a little bit jank? Like I said. <laughs> Some stuff in the game is just a little bit jank. <laughs> just a wee bit, man. Nothing major, nothing game-breaking or anything. Just, you know. You push the right size box into the right side uh, slope. Slope. <laughs> and it just flies forever. We do, too. Did I save when I got down here? <laughs> That wasn't me. I wasn't even hitting anything. I just, I touched the side of this thing. I touched the crease right here. See, you touch it, and the game's like, nope, we're gonna move you. Touch. And then you just keep moving, man. <laughs> like, and I'm, I'm stuck. I literally can't move right now. There we go. 
Oh my god. Okay. Uh, jank game is jank. That's not a bad thing, though. It just is. Can we not take any of, like, those fanny packs? What if I want a fanny pack? I don't think we can break barrels, right? That's true. Yeah, okay. I didn't think so. I thought it was just the crates, but... Again, not an expert. Oh. I was about to run over there and try to murder that guy. Um... Bro, I missed the jump. <laughs> I missed the jump. Oh my god. We suck, man. We suck so bad. Get down here. Love me, Mr. Uh, Blue Alien Boy. Give me all your stuff. Oh, I took damage that time. You committed a great sin against food? Did you, like, throw away the leftovers? No, joking. What did you do? <laughs> did you make some abomination? Did you cook a steak well done? Hold on, quick save. I had steak and eggs for breakfast yesterday, and I'm sad to report that one of my two small steaks was cooked medium well. It was very sad. I'm very sorry for my transgressions against the world. I did not mean to do so, but it happened, and I feel so much better now that I uh, let it out there, you know? I ate it anyways, of course. Huh. Thank God. Two little lamb chops that were left over from your anniversary dinner on some bread with ketchup. <laughs> lamb chops, bread, and ketchup. Hell yeah. I don't think I've ever actually had lamb before. Not gonna lie. Can we jump over to there? I realize we're supposed to go through the vent, but was it good? That's all that I really care about personally. When I was younger, I used to put ketchup on all kinds of meat and things. Nowadays, though, I don't, but... Oh, does the vent just come out here? Did we miss anything, like, fun by... Going the way that we went? Like, should we have went through the vent? Was that the better way to go? I'm guessing it just comes out here, though. Damn it. Bro, ladders. My greatest enemy. These thingies on the ceiling look nice. They look friendly. Is that dude trying? Oh, shit. It's shooting at me now. Was it shooting the face hugger though? Because if so, like, hell yeah. <laughs> Get wrecked. Thank God the game gives us like 6 million health packs. No, it just sinks, sinks. Okay. I was thinking maybe we can make, like, stepping stones with some of these things. Maybe if we, like, stacked them all up in the same place or something, maybe we actually could, but... Probably not worth, though. I'm sure there's a way across, like, an actual way across. Down here, maybe? Oh, wait. The barrel is floating. I'm just blind. Oh my god. Oh.
I see. Um, what? I don't think we want to go in the chompy boys down there. Is there a way out of here though? Other than getting like licked? What are the chances you put your tongue back down? I kind of want to, hold on, look for a crease. Kappa cow, what's up, man? Welcome back. Two more hours, I know, dude. We getting there. We getting there. It's been a ton of fun, though, honestly. I've really been enjoying myself. It's been great. Oh, okay, well, we do have another barrel. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go in the hole. Don't go in the hole. Wait. Oh, shit. It's probably too late now. Hold on. We got this. Push the other barrel over there. I don't know. I have no idea if this is the way we're supposed to be going or not. But like... Oh, god damn it, liquor. Ow. Asshole. Is it gonna sink or is it gonna float? It's gonna float. Let's go. Okay, hold on. I need, I need health though. How's stream been? Stream's been great, honestly. I've been having a ton of fun. I'm very tired for obvious reasons. I did take a nap, though. So it's not like I'm going 24 hours without sleep or anything stupid. But I could really use a bit more sleep. But no, it's just it's been fun, you know? Just hanging out, playing games, being stupid. It's been a great time. I wish we wouldn't keep auto climbing on this thing. I'm trying to push it, not climb on it. There we go. We gotta like bump it from the side. Stop climbing on it. Gordon Freeman, stop it. Oh my God, no, go over. Thank God, man. Oh, can we just walk it around? Whack it? Does that work? Can you, like, push it over that way? But the sauce that is on it already doesn't blend with the ketchup. Oof. Oof. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I didn't know it was, like, dressed already. When you said lamb chop, I just thought, like, naked lamb chop. Yeah, yeah that's a ladder. Yeah, we did all of that for nothing. Oh, wait. Is there anything up there, though? Whacking it doesn't work. <laughs> or can we just not move it that direction? Oh my god. Jank game shank. Okay, does it not fit? I think it technically doesn't fit. Is the problem. I just wanted to try and go up here. I don't know if there is anything up there or not. But I feel like there would be. That's like... We're stuck. Help. Feels like such a good place for secrets. Oh. Here we go. This is the secret. You crouch push. I've never heard of it. I don't go to like fancy restaurants all that often or anything. But still, I'm glad I'm glad you're liking it. I'm glad it's good. It's all that really matters at the end of the day. And no, it doesn't seem like that thing works, so that was a waste of time. I really thought that would be like a secret or something. It looks like it would be. There's nothing over on the other side, right? Yeah, I know. I don't think we can break any of those grates open. This looks nice. This looks fantastic. Not like we're gonna run into some stuff at all. That does not look like a safe way to transport cargo containers. 
even if they are like small cargo containers. Having them chaining, chaining, hanging from chains and tracks just seems dangerous. Bruh, I don't want to do this. It's going to want me to jump across them. Oh, God, this is why I said I didn't want to do it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I knew it was going to end poorly for me. There was no doubt in my mind that I was going to fuck that up. Game, why do you hate me? Boom, 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 boom. We should probably save, I guess, like right before this set of jumps. Because, again, I'm positive that I'm going to fuck it up at least one more time before we actually make it across these things. Quick save. Yes, I'm sure. The jumping is not great. Is it because, like, hold on. If we go to the mid-game menu, there's, like, an auto-crouch jump option. Is that why? Was it in controller config? Oh, we have a lock-on with circle? That's good to know. <clears throat> Alt attack with R2. Interesting. Okay, uh, configure... Auto crouch jump off. Maybe that will do it for us. Will jumping be better now? I mean, it actually feels like we're jumping now. Oh my god. <laughs> you have to, like, get momentum before you jump. Oh, dude. But if you already have momentum, then you can just, like... Stop midair? It's so touchy. We got this, though. Look at us go, dude. Third time. For fourth time? Fourth time's the charm. Just to climb right back up again. How long is Half-Life? Honestly, like, I imagine it would be better on PC, of course. I, I... From what I played of it, I remember it handling a little better on PC. But, like... We could play it on the PS2. To completion. Like, actually playing through the whole game. Do I want my bread toasted? No. I'm good. No. I never toast the bread on my chicken patties. I mean, I own the game on PC, though. And as far as I know, there's nothing special about the PS2 version. So whenever we do play through Half-Life, we might just do the PS2 one, or the, the PC one. I guess it depends if anybody ends up having a preference. But again, I'd be surprised, because... Are all these face huggers gonna get zapped? Hell yeah. That's just dead end? No, it's not. Is there anything in there? Come on over here, Mr. Face Hugger. Get yourself murdered by that fan real quick. Both of you. <gasps> he didn't get murdered. Where'd he go? Did he? Maybe he did get murdered. Your turn, Mr. Facehugger. Jump on over. You know you want to say hello. Bro, why do you just not care about me now? There we go. Now you're murdered. Your turn. Is he just like... There we go. Uh, okay. Now if we go... 
back over this way. Yeah. Oh wait. Never mind. These are like steel bars. I can't. I can't break that one. I guess. Is there another entrance somewhere? Quick save. Cause like I see the ammo and stuff. I want the stuff. Okay, you can get around it. That actually wasn't all that bad. I thought. I thought there wouldn't there wouldn't be enough room for us to get around it. And we were just gonna get screwed. Oh, now I see why like auto crouch jump is a thing. There we go. That's not that bad though. You just gotta hold crouch while you jump. Like, it's really not that inconvenient. You're welcome. Maybe you don't keep standing under the thing that just tried to lick your face off. Just throwing that out there as a suggestion, but I mean, you do whatever you want, I guess. What do I know? Oh, wait. That did nothing. I'm guessing we can't walk through there. That was just like the long way around to here. Oh, uh, Lickaton could have like lifted us up there. I wonder if there's anything fun up there. Gordon, why don't you leave? I'd have let you in. Everyone's heading for the service. But I think they're crazy not to stay put. Someone is bound to come by and rescue us. Do you really want to wait here with Is just a paranoid rumor, isn't Do you really want to wait here and like find out? Oh, there's another lick a tongue. I knew I heard something. Ew. It looks like he may have had a snack or two at some point. Oh, I see. Turn off the power. And then... Oh, he put his tongue out again. Try not to get stuck again, my guy. Am I able to pause? Yes, I can pause. That's fine. We'll quick save, too. Maybe. Quick save. Yes. Is it ready now? Okay, cool. I know how to make them. <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh, window. Duh. I just feel like they're crisper than normal. This water is going to be electrified. Is there anything in there we need? There's a health pack over there, but we don't need the health pack. I think we should just skip that area. Storage and storage. Are these doors locked? Om nom nom. Yeah, no, they're good. Good job. Oh, hi. <laughs> I thought I was the one breaking down the door. I didn't expect you to be breaking down the door, too. Oh. Did you come through? Well, I'm trying to help you, boy. Come on out. There you are. Good job. I'm so proud of you. You did such a good job. Breaking down that door. Was that it? Just two ammo packs? I'm glad we didn't use, like the gun to break that door. I don't even know if that works or not. But imagine you wasted all of that ammo opening the door just to get two ammo packs. Oh. Loading screen. Honestly, at least the loading times are pretty quick, right? There's a lot of random loading screens, but each one's fast.
So like that's nice. Anything in the big box? Oh, yep, there was something in the big box, all right. Can I lock on with <laughs> with the crowbar? You can lock on with the crowbar. <gasps> Shotgun shells. Shotgun! Got excited for the shells, didn't even notice the actual gun. Um, sir? Okay, I saved your life. Will you let me through? Let's run like hell. Now, what happens if, like, we don't save him? Is that an option? It's down here. Health kit? Cool. Uh, random junk? I look like a hard drive, some toothpaste. Maybe a, a fanny pack or two. I mean, maybe he just wins the fight. Maybe maybe he can't die there. Oh. Oh. Well, thanks, buddy. Glad you were here. Cause I was not paying attention. I think we're missing something. Oh, wait. No, that's the vent where the face hugger just came through. Can't interact with any of this stuff. Is there a vent over here somewhere that we missed? No. We're definitely missing something somewhere. I feel like there wouldn't be a whole loading zone. I mean, I guess it was made for PC, so... There's a bug. <laughs> Why is there a bug? <laughs> I didn't know there were bugs that ran around. When I saw that, I fully expected, like, a horde of face uh, huggers to be following or something. Are you going to, like, follow me, maybe, and open up these doors? Do you have keys? Come on, friend. Yeah, let's go. Silence! Hello, sir! Welcome back! Oh my god. I did not mean to go back through the thingy. See you later. No, not see you later. Come with. Just redeemed hydrate. Oh, all right. How was night, Silence? Hope things went well for you, bud. Yep, all that target range time is gonna pay off today. Come on, follow. Alan, open up the door. Open. No. Okay. He doesn't open doors for us. Bring it on. Maybe this water isn't electrified? It definitely looks like it's going to be electrified, though. But that vent over there is the only place I've seen that we can go. <laughs> why me's having a stroke over there okay why me it doesn't seem that bad though we're only taking a little bit of damage can we like turn off the sink to stop it being flooded no oh my god asshole you're still alive oh there was another one where did they come from? There's another... Th okay.
<gasps> we stood up, man, automatically as soon as there was nothing above our head anymore. That was just rude game. The armor tanks most of it, but it kills almost instantly once it's gone. I got you. I think my biggest problem was running head first into this fan like a dumbass. Because I don't have crouch toggle on, and I wasn't... Oh, hey. We made it to the other side of the door. Come on in, bud. Come be a bro. Or not. This door was just open a second ago. Are you gonna... Are you coming? I know, pathfinding's hard. But I believe in you. You know what? I don't believe in you. Fuck off. Oh, I take it back. I believe in you again. Shoot them. <laughs> Kill the face huggers. <laughs> what is this guy doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's fine. I just want to see at this point if he's going to figure it out or not. It's like he thinks he can get through that door because it was temporarily open. So he tries, realizes it's blocked, goes back, and then pathfinds the same way again. I don't know if we should go any further. This doesn't look right. Go any further where? We haven't fucking gone anywhere. You've just been running back and forth. You're not doing a goddamn thing right now. I'm just getting a shit ton of cardio. Honestly, I wonder if like a quick save and a quick load would fix it. Hold on. I'm gonna try to help you, friend. Here. Quick save. Quick load. Whoa. That was close. <laughs> His AI is still broken, isn't it? Can we push you? There we go. Now, follow me. Come on. Come on! <gasps> I'm so proud. Oh my god. Good job. I'm so proud of you. You did good. Now, let's go. I'm guessing we can't break the steel one. Oh, wait. No. No, it's just getting, like, scuffed where we hit it at. We can't break them. Okay. That one is... Hey, thank you so much, Seriously, Furious Napkin, for the raid with the viewers. viewers. Thank you, my guy. I appreciate it. How was stream? I hope things went well. So if we push you over, can we jump up on you? You're probably too high, though. You might be able to use the other one. Yeah, make like some... Um... Oh, there we go. There we go. How's the Half-Life? Oh... Um, it's jank because it's Half-Life, but it's, so far it's been a ton of fun, though. I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Oh, what is going on, man? <laughs> what are we, like, being pushed away by every time we jump up here? <laughs> We're just, like, instantly pushed back. Is that a ladder? Can we grab the ladder? There we go. Okay. We got this. We had to, like, climb the ladder, not jump. Jumping was the wrong idea. Jumping 
jumping try to murder us. Half-Life physics, I know, is fantastic. Honestly, though, I mean, for as old as the game is, it's, it's really freaking good. It holds up... Son of a bitch. It holds up well in general, to be fair. Obviously, it's not the prettiest game and there's some jank, but it's still a ton of fun. We don't want to jump. That's the secret. Anybody here? No. Oh, there's a turret. Okay. Huh. Can we disable that turret somehow? Or do we just gotta freaking run? Is it out of ammo maybe? Nope. Can we hide behind box? Aha, stealth. I kind of want to go over there and see what's over there. But I'm scared. I feel like as soon as we come out from behind this box, we're screwed. I'm surprised that box hasn't broken yet, to be honest. Is there like a switch over here, something we can use to turn it off? Ooh, more shotgun and ammo. In there. Regular ammo. Yeah, PlayStation 2, man. So I, I do this thing called the PS2 Gauntlet, um, where I try a little bit of, and then for a lot of games, complete every PlayStation 2 game is my goal eventually. So I've been slowly collecting and trying every PS2 game. Um, and I own this game on PC, and I recognize that PC would be the better way to play it, but it doesn't help with the... Uh, <laughs> collecting and trying every ps2 game so didn't even know playstation 2 specifically but yep playstation 2 and then half-life 2 is on xbox 360 and it runs pretty well i mean i know they had to make some sacrifices to get the playstation 2 version up and running specifically i think there's like some some texture compression audio compression um and there's a lot more loading screens than there was on Thank the PC, obviously. Holy shit. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Get behind the box. Okay, the box is broken. The box is broken. Steel box, please be unbreakable. Ooh, what's this file? Nope, not something we can pick up. Now, if we push you too far, though, is he eventually going to, like, see over it? Okay. We're safe-ish. Can we, like... Oh, there's a switch. Okay, I thought we'd have to, like, smash it or something. Thank God. Is there a smaller box we can use to get up to that? No. There's a smaller box up there, but that doesn't do me any good. I just wanted the health pack. I mean, we still have 80. We're not that bad off. Crouch jump? No. Nothing. All right. This will... Of course, there's face huggers. I should have, like, got these guys to come over to the turret first before I turned it off. Can I turn it back on? Are they dead? I mean, I know there's more over there. I kind of wish... Are you alive? You're alive. Wait, can the turret not see you? Rude. Did I not turn the turret back on? Or like, did it, like, break? Maybe it couldn't see you? No, it's broke. Well, shit. Okay. I didn't realize... Oh, hi. How did a shotgun not murder you? Bro. 
there. Block on is a huge help. Huge freaking help. Hopefully there's another health pack around here somewhere. Health refill, whatever. Oh, hello, new friend. Man, did you see that shot? That was great. You did a fantastic job, Mr. Sorry, I can't quite see what your name badge. It's very blurry. I think I think I'm dying. Everything's blurry. AI for the win, man. When they win. Why'd you turn the Hello? lights off? Do you think that's going to help you hide or something? I don't think that went as well for them as they had hoped. Was that the same two dudes that we've been following from like the beginning? I feel a little bad, I'm not gonna lie. Hearing them die like that. Um, we don't even need- Oh, you dick. I didn't think he was gonna aim for me. Anyways, we don't really even need to do anything. The guards can just take care of these dudes by themselves. Honestly, with like, as easy of a time as they're having murdering these guys, I'm surprised the facility has been taken over the way it has. Um, do you maybe want to get the guy behind you? Never mind. I see why. I see why now. It's because they're idiots. Okay, to be fair, the aliens also seem to be idiots, though. We're gonna die to a face hugger. Holy shit. This is going swimmingly. Where was that break room at? I saw a break room around here. Oh my god, there's a dude right there. There's two dudes. Bro, we're so screwed. <laughs> Holy shit. Do you have health? You have ammo. I don't need the ammo. We're dead. <laughs> Damn it, bro. Okay, it's fine. When's the last time we saved? It was recently, right? I don't think it was that long ago. You know what? Maybe we'll just do another quick load. <laughs> Can I get through? Thank you. Turn off. Grab the ammo. And then, what if we just throw a grenade down this hallway? Does I have a big enough blast radius to just take care of all of them? Nope, they're still dudes. Let's go, dude. We can get locked onto them, it's pretty easy, but... Otherwise, between my own ineptitude and the jank that is Half-Life, it can be kind of rough. Uh, even though you died in a very stupid way, I'd still love if you would follow me, my guy. I've. You also have a tendency of shooting people in the back. I guess there's that, too, that I'm not a huge fan of. Is there anything in here? There was. There was that health pack. Seems like a good time to save. In the middle of a dying man's screams. Go take care of him. Behind you, my guy. Did he just say die? Do they speak? Like actual recognizable words? There's another one. Nice, man. Oh, oh god, there's so many of you! Oh 
Oh my god, there really is. There is a crap ton of you guys. Holy shit. Have I played SOCOM Navy SEALs? I'm pretty sure I have. It's getting kind of hard to keep track, but I have a list of all of the games that like I played and haven't played. Um, SOCOM... Yes, I played the first one and the third one. I have them... The third one I have marked as having liked. The first one I had marked as not really liking. <laughs> but I personally don't remember a ton about them. Um, I remember, like, the SOCOM games a bit from, like, growing up, too, right? Like, I definitely played them when I was younger. Or at least, like, knew of them? Maybe, like, one of my brothers played it or something? Wait, did I accidentally kill the dude? I see blood, but... I don't know what just happened. Whatever. Um, but yeah, never my personal favorite game series or anything like that, but I know it's a popular one that a lot of people really enjoy. I think what it was, I think the first one... The, like, first mission of the game, first or second mission of the game broke. And I, I, I like, did all the objectives and then was told to go to the, the HVAC site, right? And then it just, I couldn't evacuate, I think is what happened. Like, I just sat there and sat there, pulled everybody back to that spot, and then just nothing happened for whatever reason. Yeah, I think I accidentally hit him a little bit. So I think that kind of ruined the experience of the first game for me. If it wasn't SOCOM 1, then I know it was a similar type of game. I definitely had that happen with a SOCOM light game. Yeah, it kind of sucked, but I mean, it is what it is. Deal of the day. Oh, for the local game store. I mean, you can if you're l if you like, but um, it's just gonna make me want to buy stuff, and I have no money, so like I probably shouldn't. Top three favorite console games from going up. Um, that's actually pretty easy for me. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. If I had to pick one of them, it would be Kingdom Hearts two. Um, God of War. Again, if I had to pick one, God of War two. And then Final Fantasy, probably seven. That's all from like my teenage years. From my younger years, it would have been Pokemon. Um, if I had to pick one from like preteen years, well, third gen's like the best Pokemon gen in general, in my opinion, <laughs> more or less. So probably like Ruby or Sapphire. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter which one. And then Super Mario Brothers 3? World. 3 I'm more nostalgic for, but World is, I think, the better game. So I always go like back and forth on which one I would say is my favorite. I usually say 3 is my favorite, though, just because I do have a lot more nostalgia for 3 than I do World. But World is just the better game. And then, hmm, I don't know. If I had to pick a third one from, like, that era, though, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. I mean, I played some SimCity. That was a ton of fun. Maybe SimCity on the Super Nintendo. I'm probably forgetting something, but yeah. Kingdom Hearts and God of War. Kingdom Hearts, God of War, and Final Fantasy, though are like my top three game franchises of all time, so. And Mario is like a very close, very close uh, to the top of that list as well. Shoot the face huggers. You missed the face huggers. What about you if you had to pick my guy? Do you have a top three favorite? console games or anybody else of course mm -hmm. 
Um, probably don't want to hit the thing that says explosives. Okay, well, I thought maybe if we shot it, it would uh, it would blow up, but console games, yeah, console games. Kingdom Hearts is a great game. I agree. It's actually weird for me because like I got Kingdom Hearts. Me and a friend, um, went with like his mom. We we took a vacation to Florida, basically. Can you count Mass Effect Trilogy as one game? Yes, yes you can. That's fun. And generally, I wouldn't do like more than one per. What should we call it, anyways? One per per franchise, anyways. Unless the games are like way way different. Um, but yeah, no. So I got I got Kingdom Hearts at Disney World, and I actually took my PS2 down there with me because I knew I was gonna want to play it to have something to do when we weren't at the park, right? And so I played it a little bit when I was there, but Destiny Island on the first Kingdom Hearts, I was like, this isn't what I expected at all. It's not what it looked like it was going to be like from the back of the box. I was very disappointed in the game, basically. And I think I might have played it a tiny bit more when I got home, but again, I was still on Destiny Island, so I was just like, eh. And then I sat the game aside for probably a year or two. It was a while, right? I just was not into it. But eventually, because I was young and I didn't have a large game collection like I do now, I picked it back up, tried it again, eventually got through Destiny Island, and then fucking fell in love with the game, man. Ended up being amazing. Also, welcome, Baldi Nom. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Is that a health pack? Am I going to die as soon as I come over here? I feel like every corner we go around anymore, there's going to be something trying to shoot us or murder us. Nothing feels safe. Yeah, we have a lot of Mass Effect lovers here in chat, by the way, Baldi. You are not alone here. I hear troops are coming in to save us. I haven't played through Mass Effect myself. I did play the first one. I was trying to 100% or at least as close as I could the game. And I was doing really well with it. I just had to go. I did like all the DLC stuff and everything. It was going really well. And I got to... I basically I had to like go back to like the main hub place and do the final, final mission. Maybe two missions of the game. Um, but I had to move at the time. I couldn't live where I was living anywhere anymore. I had to move. And so I wiped my computer because I knew I wasn't going to have internet or anything where I was. So I wiped my computer and then like re-downloaded just the games that I wanted. Um, that I was going to want to play there and whatnot. And I included Mass Effect because I wanted to finish it. What I didn't realize was that Mass Effect didn't have any cloud saves. So I got screwed. <laughs> My save was just gone. And I had spent so many hours on that save trying to do every mission, find every little thing that I could. I had the DLC for the game. I had played through all the DLC. Like, I did everything I possibly could. And then my save was just wiped. So I've never picked the game back up again since. I... <laughs> I do have it on my list of games to play to uh, to finish, though, for on stream here. And it is currently the highest voted game. So it'll probably happen relatively soon. And by relatively soon, I mean it's probably going to take a while. But because <laughs> I'm, I'm also doing a Pokemon Red Nuzlocke. I don't have a ton of time to stream. Sorry. Ah, sadly, I'm going to die. I'm dead. I'm dead. I don't have a ton of time to stream sadly so i only do like streams where i'm trying to actually finish a game and not doing like the random ps2 stuff and whatnot um about once a week three to four hours and right now i'm doing a pokemon nuzlocke and it's being a pain in the ass i've never done a pokemon nuzlocke before and they've always looked fun but i just never got around to actually trying it and i didn't think it would be that hard turns out man it's kicking my ass so it's, uh, yeah, it might take a bit, but I do hope to be playing Mass Effect soon. N-U-Z-L-O-C-K-E, Nuzlocke. This guy is also kicking my ass. Um, hey, what the hell are you doing down here? 
Yeah. Nuzlocke is just Pokemon, but with extra rules. So it's like Pokemon hard mode. You... Every Pokemon you catch, you're supposed to nickname. That's not like a hard rule, but most people do. You can only catch one Pokemon in, per route of the game. Route, city, whatever. And it has to be the first Mon you catch. There are some exceptions, but that's like, you know, the, the general thing of it. And if a Pokemon faints, it's dead. You have to get rid of the Pokemon, whether you release it, put it in a dedicated box, and never touch it again, whatever, it doesn't matter. Once a Pokemon faints, it's dead. You can't use it anymore. Um, that's that's like the biggest rules. There are more like variants and things that you can do. I actually tried to do a hardcore mode one first. Hardcore means that you can't heal in combat. You can only heal outside of combat. And there are level caps for different areas of the game that you're not allowed to go above. But uh, I tried to do that one first, and I made it past the first gym, because it's a Pokemon Red one that I was doing. I made it past Brock into Mount Moon, and then I died in Mount Moon. It sucked. I really want to go get that ammo and grenade and stuff, but I keep dying down here. I mean, okay, if we know we're going to get some grenades anyways... He still shot us. Sign print of Femshep and Liara, signed by Jennifer Hale. That's awesome, man. My desk mat is also Legendary Edition. You have a custom Xbox controller in black, white, and red. My mouse is programmed to fade between blue and red. Not obsessed at all. Not even a little bit, man. Not even a little bit. That's awesome, though. It's too bad my brother's not here right now. He was doing this 24-hour stream with thing with me for the most part. But uh, we took a nap earlier. And it doesn't seem like he's woken up. But he he's a huge Mass Effect fan as well. He's one of the reasons why I played it to begin with, and then just, yeah. Ah, oh, he still hit us, man. I thought I could get a, get around him. Was there anything in here? Have we tried this yet? Yeah, that's just the fan. There was nothing up there. Nice. Is this empty? That's empty. You can follow us now, or follow me now. Wait, are you not following? There you go. It would be really helpful if you did. That didn't open it. I was hoping breaking it the rest of the way would make it open, but no luck. Is it just one? Thing is, you never know when that's gonna happen. Holy shit, dude. Whenever a million more things are just going to spawn out of nowhere. And we need health. That also, like, tanked the frame rate. Is there any health or anything down here? No. Okay, we can't go through here, though. So where the hell am I going? Anyone who has played it is a huge fan. It's definitely a popular franchise, man. I gotta, I gotta admit... We're dead again. Maybe we just skip going down into that one area. It seems to be doing more harm than good. Or... Better yet, will you follow us now? Yes, let's. Come down here with me. Can I push you ahead of me? That would actually be handy. There we go. Yeah, keep walking that way. Keep going. Don't worry. There's nothing down here to worry about. Just keep going. A little bit over this way, maybe? No, keep, keep walking. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Is he dead? Bring it on. Okay, I think he's dead, man. He just kept shooting. That guy really was not a fan of that. Uh, I don't know what those dudes are called. The only one that I actually know like what's called is the face hugger. Please don't die. Oh, okay, you died. Damn it. We still got hit. 
I was really hoping that dude would be able to... Really hoping that dude would be able to take them out. That means we gotta do the next section by ourselves. That's fine. We have a gun. We just stand back here. God, the gun is not the best thing for taking out face huggers. Bro, we cannot hit them. Even with lock on. <laughs> like, it's just not working. What about shotgun? Oh, you're, you made your way up. I was hoping you would stay stuck down there with the rest of your friends. Okay. That's everybody. Holy hell. Please have a health pack over here somewhere. Instead, it's probably just going to spawn somebody around one of these corners. I guess it's a good time for a quick save, too. Oh, shit. I need to eat my sandwich before it gets cold. Sorry. <laughs> kind of forgot about it. I got too busy talking and playing. Dying repeatedly. It's probably already cold. Oh, yeah. It's definitely cold. Cold and stale. Yummy. My favorite. Mm -mm -mm. Are you gonna spawn a bunch of things again? Just let me get that health pack, please. You guys like drop food or anything like the thingies do? No. No, they don't. I mean, we had a health thingy right here. We should be okay, at least. 80? 80. Let's save again. Just so we don't have to redo that. Is there a... Oh, there's a button. Is this a cooler? We made our way into the fridge. I would say that we just stay here, but... Oh, never mind. There's people in here, too. Yummy. What if I just, like... Did it kill him? It did kill him. Let's go. I was hoping that would work. Holy shit. Who would have thought you would still be alive? There's people chasing you. You led them right to me. Oh my god, there's people everywhere. Oh god, I'm so dead. I don't even know where I'm being hit. Oh, there's a dude behind us too. Okay. If we can we break just this top box. Oh, we can't break that at all. There's got to be health or something around here somewhere, right? Is there like a switch? That's probably for the door, though. Yeah. This doesn't look safe, man. Okay, maybe somebody like was spawned in here and they died. 
Seeing all these dead dudes, I thought for sure... There's some armor. But I thought for sure something was going to, like, spawn in and just murder us with them. Feels almost like we need to get on this thing. There's some vents. How do we get up, though? Because we can't... Yeah, we can't jump up on that. Oh, hi, buddy. Vent goes through this wall. Ah, here. Duh. That makes a lot of you sense. Do you heal me? You're a doctor, aren't you? Let me take care of that. Yes, let's go. Hmm. I'll take whatever heals I can get. Many thank guy. I'm going to stay here and wait for my courier. You do that. You stay right there, man. That's fine. Maybe we should have come up here to begin with. Oh, yeah. See, we do need to get that thing to move. How do we move it, though? Is it this? Oh, I didn't even see this. I can't turn it off. Do I have to break it? Like maybe it just moves back and forth and then we have to break it. Nope, we can't break it. I guess we just have to time it. Fair enough. No shit, dude. Dimensional breach is transmitting organic matter. You mean that's where all the aliens are coming from? I never would have guessed from the weird, like, crackling things that are opening portals and then aliens are dropping out of them. You truly are an amazing man of science there, my guy. Ooh, ooh, all kinds of armor. Thank you, game for your kindness. How am I not dead? Okay. <laughs> our Thank you for the bit, Noodle. The, uh, our armor, just like our body jammed this thing from moving. There we go. Oh, hi. to 53 armor we have 35 health 53 armor these bones look old man i think somebody oh you can squash the bugs i think these bones i don't think i i, I don't think it's these dudes i don't think these dudes drop those bones they're too clean unless they're able to like suck people completely clean which i mean i guess maybe but they look like they've been down here for a while i think black mace has got some skeletons in their closet literally um we don't really need ammo that bad but like fuck it though we might as well take it. Is there anything hiding up here? Oh, there's another vent. Oh, that's not a vent. Okay, I thought that went like up into a vent in the ceiling or something. No, this is the way we actually need to go.
Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Oh, buddy. And our flashlight's dead, too. Or about to die. Loading screen. Big loading screen. Let's go. We free. There's dudes running. That's a little worrying. Oh. Not even sure if we got hit or if this dude just shot us. Oh god. Oh, we've been going over two hours. Alright, guys. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, finish my sandwich, stretch my legs. Um, and then I'm gonna message my brother and see if he ever got up. Because we were supposed to play a little bit of Company of Heroes 2 before we ended the thing. But like we only have what, an hour and a half left? Where is it? Yeah, an hour and 20 minutes left to hit the 24-hour mark. So, like, I don't know. Our dude might have just died, though. My guess is whenever we took our nap, he just didn't wake back up. <laughs> Not in, like, a literally died way, by the way. I'm sure he's fine. He probably just passed out and hasn't woken up. But <laughs> I'm going to shoot him a couple messages, stretch my legs, uh, finish up my sandwich, and then if he gets up, we'll probably play some Company of Heroes. If not, then, um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll decide what to do when I get back, I guess. Either another PS2 game, because we've gone over two hours with Half-Life already. It is going on the list of games to complete. By the way, I think it's already on there, so we'll hopefully be doing it sooner or later. Uh, we'll definitely be doing it sooner or later, but hopefully sooner rather than later, because Half-Life, ton of fun, very influential game, um, just massive. And I, I'm kind of sad that I've never played through the entire game before. Hey, thank, thank you for the you follow, well Bodynom. I appreciate that, my guy. I really do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to take a break. We'll be back in like uh, five, ten minutes. You guys are titans, right? I'm assuming. So we probably want to have different kind of items, one for one. One for each type. Main character, cutie. <laughs> uh. Oh shit, we forgot the potion. Potion quick. 